Here's how to use a Scriptel electronic signature pad with Crosslink 1040. As of the date of this video, there are three Scriptel electronic signature pads that are certified to work with Crosslink 1040. If you've purchased one of these signature pads, you can use it to capture and store your ERO and your paid preparer signatures in the program. And after completing a tax return, you can use the signature pad to capture the taxpayer and spouse signature. However, the first step is to download and install the required drivers for the device. To do so, log into your account on crosslinktax.com and then click Downloads and Other Downloads. From here, click Scriptel Signature Pad Drivers. A compressed folder containing the files needed to install the signature pad will begin downloading. Once finished, open the folder and double click the ST Series software application. Click Run to continue. Use the ST Series installation wizard to complete the installation. Once you're finished with the installation wizard, there's one last important piece of setup needed before you can start using your new signature pad. Open Crosslink 1040, click the Setup menu, and then click Printer Setup. Be sure to select the Use Scriptel Pad checkbox, then click OK to close the window. You're now ready to start using your Scriptel signature pad. Let's begin with the ERO signature. Click the Database menu, and then click EF Originators. If you haven't done so already, create an EFIN record by entering your EFIN here, and then click Add. If you've already created an EFIN record, double-click to open it. The Electronic Return Originator window will display. Below the fields that contain your ERO information, you'll find an area to capture the ERO signature. Click Capture Signature and use the Electronic Signature Pad to sign. Once you're happy with the signature, click Accept and then click Save. To capture the Paid Preparer's signature, click the Database menu and then click Paid Preparers. This is where the records for each of your paid preparers can be created. If you haven't done so already, create a record by entering an ID of your choosing for the preparer and then click Add. Otherwise, double click on the existing record to open it. In the Paid Preparer Information window, click Capture Signature and have the paid preparer sign away. Be sure to click Accept and Save once you're done. Lastly, here's how to capture the taxpayer and spouse signatures. Once you've verified that the tax return is free of errors, click Print on the toolbar you'll be able to capture the taxpayer and spouse signature by clicking the Sign Doc button found here. Once captured, their signatures will automatically populate in every single field that's required in the tax return. And now, here's a helpful tip. If the taxpayer has chosen a bank product as their refund disbursement method, please note that the bank requires a separate, additional signature that serves as an acknowledgement for that bank product. To capture the bank application signature with the signature pad, click the Print menu, and then click Bank Documents you'll find another Sign Doc button available here, allowing you to capture the taxpayer's signature for the bank product. 